days. But they do have plenty to be proud of in these parts on the south coast. So much history, so much tradition, much of it on the water, so much to see and do. But it's about time they had a battler to get behind on dry land. A man who can pull the crowds in again, and Tony Oakey seems to fit the bill. A sellout tonight at the Mountbatten Centre, and they'll be hoping for more in the future. A uh, potential um, big fight for me then, so, you know, just want to stay sharp, get some more rounds behind me, just and get back to my normal self. So Williams warms up tonight, always a fighter worth watching, surely one of Britain's best craftsmen right now. And the Ukrainian Viktor Fashetsko stands in his way, not an easy man to put away in recent meetings with some of our other big names. Now, just a reminder, if you are watching on Sky Digital tonight, you can access the Sky Active menu at any time simply by pressing the red button on your remote control. We're all set to go here. Commentary from Glenn McCrory and Ian Dark, who found his way here without recourse to a road map. The MC tonight is John MacDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening and welcome along to a packed Mountbatten Centre here in the historical naval city of Portsmouth for tonight's Commonwealth Championship Boxing proudly presented by Barry Hearn for and on behalf of Ringside Boxing Promotions sponsored here by Matchroom Sport all the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control ladies and gentlemen this is an international light middleweight contest Firstly, and introducing to you our visitor, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the blue trunks, trimmed with silver, weighing in at 11 stone and a half a pound, bringing a 59 fight record, 36 wins, 17 inside the scheduled distance, 21 losses and two draws. He's from the Ukraine. Please welcome Viktor Fatsetko. And ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red trunks, trimmed with white, weighing in at 11 stone, 1 pound, 2 ounces. Bringing a 14 fight record, 13 wins, 11 inside the scheduled distance, and only one loss coming to the ring as the Commonwealth light middleweight champion from Stockwell, South London, Richard the Secret. Timekeeper at the bell from Harrow is Mr. Peter McCann and referee in charge of the action from Gillingham, Kent is Mr. Ian John Lewis. This is six three-minute rounds. Now I'm the referee. Obey my commands at all times. You both know the rules. Watch your heads and kick them punches up. When I shout break, you break clean. And remember, defend yourself at all times. Check hands. So another chance here to see one of the classiest light middleweights in the country, Richard Williams. But they do need to get a move on with him because he's 30 years of age now. This fellow, though, is pretty durable. Viktor Vesetchko of the Ukraine has only been stopped once in his last 22 fights. It's the fifth time in a row that he's fought in Britain. And if you want to know how good he is at taking a punch, well, he went eight hard rounds with the British champion Wayne Alexander who's one of the best punchers in the business. So Williams would do well to stop him, Glenn. Yes, he would, but it'd be a good opportunity if Williams can stop him, just to put a, a little message out to the rest of them in this division. Williams warming up, as you've heard, for a big fight with the Australian Shannon Taylor, who fought quite recently for the world title and went five rounds with the brilliant Sugar Shane Mosley. He was well beaten there, but it would be a very interesting test with Williams. December the 1st is the scheduled date. Williams has to make sure nothing goes wrong tonight. He's in the red trunks, in case you haven't seen him before, from Stockwell in South London, where he delivers meals on wheels to the elderly folk in that area. Six rounds a pretty short distance for him. Claire. Yes, it is. He really, you know, he needs to start quick. He is you know, quite good early on, Williams. 
but he needs to, you know, have a, a quick look at this guy and then get about his work and, and really start landing his combinations. Williams, who's had everybody talking about him in the business over the last few months after a sensational performance against Tony Badea to win the Commonwealth title. After that, he was affected by a severe bout of illness, which uh, made him look a bit laboured when he came back to the ring against uh, the St. Osman. Better last time out in defence of his title against Andrew Murray inside three rounds. Murray looked a bit fragile, if I'm honest with you, though. Paul Williams is starting to pick up his work rate as the round goes on. The third score is the type of fighter Williams can't really allow to get into this fight. He could start messing him about a bit. It's important for Williams to keep on making the same good impression. He's got a nice rhythm about him when he's at his best. Nice doubling up of the jab there. He's wrapped in a couple of right hands as well that I sense just troubled Bichetsko a little in this opening round. But the Ukrainian is going to be nothing if not willing here. Welcome back to the Mount Button Centre in Portsmouth's Alexandra Park, where they also have top-class athletics and where I used to play for my school football team <laughs> as a, a boy of eight many years ago, Francis Avenue. We wondered how quick it was going to come in. Uh, I thought I'd just drop that in in case you, nobody understood Paul Dempsey's cue over to me yeah, tonight. Ian is from Portsmouth. Glad we've got that out of the way. Here's the second round here, Richard Williams, Red Trunks non-title fight for him tonight just the six rounds against this durable ukrainian victor Pasechko, who's in his 60th contest tonight he's won 36 so far went the distance as well with uh, delroy leslie and neil sinclair on trips to britain but howard eastman up at middleweight beat him in four rounds stopped him but that was at the weight above could explain it. Now for Sechko looking competitive enough. He's the kind of fighter I think for whom the phone will always ring because he comes in and gives a pretty decent effort even though he's lost his last four now. Well Williams needs to go through his work on the four to be relaxed. Pesetsko, pretty cagey fighter. But Williams normally, you know, run about the second round, starts to go through the gears a bit, and I think that's what we've got to look for in this fight. Just a bit short with the jab in this round so far, Williams. He's been missing a lot with that, not ramming it home at all. Always dangerous kind of assignments, these, for fighters on their way into a big one and just hoping nothing goes wrong for them along the road. That's better with the jab by Williams. It's just finding it hard to get through with the shots because Pasechko is uh, covering up quite well. Yes, he stopped quite a lot early in his career, Glenn, but not lately. In other words, I think he's learned how to survive much better. Yeah, I think he has, Ian, but he's just starting to pick up with the jab himself for Setsko, and you know, that could be problems for, for Williams. He needs to, you know, to get his rhythm going, and that jab could just upset Williams' rhythm. Good little left hook there from Setsko. The buzzing boxing scene in the Ukraine at the moment. Plenty of interest because of the Klitschko brothers, of course. The heavyweights who are at the, or near the top anyway of uh, world heavyweight boxing now. Good, 
some body punch going in there from Williams. Just seemed to make Pesetko wince a bit. And another one just before the bell. American football for you on Sunday. This week in the NFL, it's the San Diego Chargers against the Denver Broncos. Sunday night from 9, live only on Sky Sports Extra. Big hitting Richard Williams gets us underway tonight here. Back to Glenn and Ian. Second down, round three. Well, Williams has stopped 10 of his last 11 opponents. He's on something of a roll. Red Trunks here, the uh, London fighter, Commonwealth champion. It's a good willing effort, this, from uh, Victor Pasechko, who's a year older at 31, by the way. He's not a noted puncher, Pasechko. He's only got 17 KOs on that... Uh, 60 fight ledger good left hand there from Williams left himself a bit open the Ukrainian for that one this is the round quite often I've noticed where Williams tends to step up the tempo he did last time out will it happen again here good body shot again that's his answer to the high-held guard of Fasechko to whip in those hooks underneath the elbows and into the body. Well, this is where Williams really does now start just to be picking it up a bit. He's caught Fasechko with a couple of good shots, which will have made the Ukraine think now he needs to really show him what he's got. That's the chosen plan of attack, I think, for Williams. Trying to drive an uppercut through the middle of that guard. Body punching might well be the key for him. Williams, um, incidentally, actually beat Wayne Alexander, the British champion, in a London ABA final back in 1995. Rematch might be quite interesting. <laughs> I think it'd be very interesting. Certainly, I think it's a fight both of the guys won, Alexander and Williams. They both won that fight. It's just a case of from what is getting together and putting that one on. And that's right, Alexander's with Frank Warren and Williams with uh, Barry Hearn's matchroom team. That's the problem. Williams just trying to turn up the heat a little. But fair to say he hasn't made a dent in this Ukrainian just yet. Sechko. Here it is again, the rib cruncher. I think if he keeps doing that, it's got to take its toll. You would think so. He just really needs to start throwing more shots, Williams. Good, good accuracy. Well, the headshots or attempted headshots are just not getting through for Williams. Portsmouth, where local boy Tony Oakey tops the bill tonight. Light middleweight Richard Williams in the ring at the moment, ranked third, we reckon, in Britain, behind Steve Roberts and Wayne Alexander. They'd all argue about that. Uh, Anthony Farr now there at five fights next week, by the way, and Alexander will be defending his title against Joe Townsley next month. Just fights coming up in that uh, more than interesting division. Here's the fourth round of this one. Williams in the red trunks here, winning the round so far, but... Uh, is he being entirely convincing, or do you think he's kind of stuck in second gear here, just getting a job done? Well, he's definitely stuck in second gear. He needs to, to move it up, and I think, you know, to be really pleased with him, you want to see a bit more than he's doing. But Pesetsko is the sort of fighter that can fiddle you around, and I think the jab of Pesetsko has given Williams a few problems because he can't get set to get his big punches off. Do you think after that three-round blowout win last time, Williams, he might just be happy to do six here well, uh, on his way to Shannon Taylor. Sure, it, it always helps to get a few rounds in the bag, and you know, he does need a little bit of work after a bit of a rest with illness. But uh, you know, Williams is the sort that I think if he can get the out there, he will. So, you know, you'd be looking to see him at least try, at least up the tempo. He 
came just short with the jab. The body punches have been the most impressive element of Richard Williams' work tonight. Just catches the sets go there. Calls himself the secret, Richard Williams, but in the trade, I'm afraid the secret's out now. Maybe not to a wider public, however. Well, he's just starting to get through more telling shots, Williams. This is where you want to see him. Just put the pressure on more. Just getting a bit marked up around the face. And there's now eye damage by the left eye for the Ukrainian. Yes, I think that was caused with that good right hand from Williams. Mr. Sesko will have felt that. Williams has got good power and he catches Vesechko again. I said about a round or so ago that he wasn't making a dent. He's beginning to. There's that left hook to the body again. The cut's quite bad. Certainly need a bit of work on it anyway. Yes, he's just starting to go into a bit of a shell now for Setsko. This is where Williams needs to catalyze on that and just keep the pressure steadily building. It's a tough way to make a living when you're a journeyman fighter like this Victor Pesetchko. Doing his best to survive body shot. Now I'll stop boxing here from Ian John Lewis, the referee. What's this about? He wants the eye to be looked at. What are they going to do here? Is it bad enough to stop the fight? Hard to see because it's on that blind side to us at the moment. Discussions with the corner men. And he's going to let it go on. That's very, very good jab from Williams. He really stepped in behind that. Well, that's good grit, this from Pasechko, to throw shots back like that after the little crisis. I think a little reminder from the referee that he's still competitive. Competitive, but losing the rounds. On the corner, just shaking the head there, full of fondue. The agent's in, he's having a look at that eye, and he just shook his head. And they're going to wonder about the wisdom of letting him go on and take more punishment, I'm sure. Well, it will go on, by the look of it, for the time being, he's passed the inspection. James Cook and Don Davis in the corner with Richard Williams, who does most of his work at the uh, Henry Cooper gym down the old Kent Road in London. It surprises me that he failed to reach an ABA final in five attempts in his time with the uh, Earlsfield Amateur Boxing Club. You'd have thought he'd be good enough to have picked up one, wouldn't you? You would, but obviously his style much more suited to the professional ranks. Red trunks, remember, Williams? Sorry, Glenn, you were about to say something. <laughs> <laughs> He's very relaxed in style, Williams. I think, you know, maybe it was all a bit too quick from the amateurs. Maybe, you know, he just needs a bit more time. Just trying to pick apart his opponent here. He's done some good work on the eye. Will it hold up? solid, heavy-handed, well-schooled operator, Williams. Pretty rounded pro. It would be fascinating to have a kind of semi-finals and final to work out who exactly is the best of the British line middleweights. Is it going to happen? No. <laughs> Shame for the fans, isn't it? Yes, it is. You know, hopefully those, some of those fights might take place. With the right money, of course. Good body shot. That hurt Vyshechko. The one to the uh, ribs with the right hand. 
range is getting harder and harder for him. The effect of these shots taking their toll. Now he looks a bit leg weary. The gloves are dropping. He's marked up around the face. I guess that eye looks a little worse. And he's starting to get hit more and more. He's just slowly grinding all resistance out of Pesetsko. This must start to seem like a trek up K2 at this point for the Ukrainian. Williams still fresh. And pretty patient, isn't he, in his work too. No rush, is there? There's not, he just takes his time slowly, just up in the tempo. He, you know, he's given Pesetsko a bit of respect, but now he's putting his shots together well. He's trying to make each punch count, you sense Williams, at the moment. The stoppage on the record would look good. Not many stop this fella these days. pretty one-sided round after round getting harder and harder and harder good shots there from Pesetsko right at the end of the round particularly the right hand he's as game as they come but that eye now looks pretty bad he's a tough man Glenn. yes he is he's got his pride obviously you know he wants to be out at work as quick as he can again he needs the money but slowly you know, he's just wearing him down good body shots he's showing some of the variety that he has the other cut didn't work but you you saw what he was trying to do there and that was good williams quite impressive without hitting the heights we saw on the night he won the commonwealth title against tony badea when he really was nothing less than sensational that's right, but I think he needs, I think he's getting the point in his career where he needs name fights and bigger fights to bring the best out of him. Last round of this uh, six round mark time fight, but that is what it is for the Commonwealth champion, Richard Williams. It's his second fight in three and a half weeks, and he gets there again with a good right hand. doesn't go down but I think he's going to be stopped here he certainly didn't hit the canvas the fight has to be stopped I'm sure here it is stopped by Ian John Lewis there's no standing eight count rule in this country so the only reason for the referee to dive in was to stop the fight and that eventually is what he did and that's a very good stoppage win for Richard Williams who turned up the heat the longer the fight went and even given only six rounds to complete the stoppage did so in the final session good work it was good and that was all in second gear there's a lot better than that from Richard Williams but what he did he did well he didn't have to take anything you know not much more than a good workout and that you know just shows a, a measure of the talent the stoppage was um a little strange in the manner it happened I think the referee moved in first of all instinctively and it looked like he was going to deliver a standing count here, which, of course, that is not allowed for in British rings. Or did he say the rope kept him up? No, I don't think so. I just no. think he, he stopped the fight. He just, you, know, you really can't allow a guy to take many more shots of that nature. That was a heavy shot. He was tyrant in with a guy who can, you know, could land a lot more like that. Now, I was just wondering about the referee here. He steps in, but he doesn't stop the fight immediately. He sort of seems for a moment not quite sure whether he's going to give him a count or stop it and then eventually he does uh, stop the fight i think that was absolutely right i think it was right i think he just given the benefit of the doubt had a look at him i think he was trying to say something, something to him see if he responded and there wasn't much there you know, so i think he did the, the right thing that was a good decision yeah no quarrels just uh, it was just the way it happened that looked a bit odd as it was happening Pesetsko is stopped for only the second time in 23 fights his last 23 so good win for Richard Williams
Ladies and gentlemen, the timekeeper Peter McCann has recorded a time of 39 seconds of the sixth round. Referee Ian John Lewis has stopped the contest. For Sechko in no position to continue. Your winner from Stockwell, and he's not a secret anymore. 